Hi, my name is Leela, and I'm sending you this message from Portland, Oregon, in the United States of America. And my purpose is to let you know you are being sent so much love and support right now in your efforts for peace in Egypt. And I can't even begin to, you know, imagine the feelings that might be running through you when you are standing in the street and you're seeing someone coming at you with an energy of violence. I can't even really fathom what that is like for you. But know that you have been so in our hearts and in such a way that that there are people here who are visioning ways for you to have a peaceful end to your situation there and that, that everything that you're wanting to unfold will happen in a way of nonviolence because no one wins a fight, as Howard Thurman, the great theologian, once said. So I'd like to offer you just a simple um, suggestion, you know, when you're in the line of fire and you're you're trying to maintain the peace because you know fighting isn't the answer. You've already seen that clearly. Um when when someone is trying to provoke you, you are the bigger person. You can tap into a space within your being that is untouchable. It's unharmable. It's that space where the most high of your belief lives. You know, we all believe, all of the wisdom traditions, that the body is a temple. And what dwells within this temple is the spirit of God, whatever that looks like for you. And so know that you are supported and loved. So one thought came to mind for me, and that is, you know, if you find yourself being confronted and you're in a group and you all sit down together and perhaps chant these words together, it it may not make sense for you why to do this, but there have been studies that have shown that this particular chant can do amazing things in terms of peace and resolution. It's called Ho'oponopono, and it's a traditional Hawaiian sort of um, prayer for peace and reconciliation. And it goes like this. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. And you might not be what you're saying you're sorry for or who you're saying it to or who you're sending love to. And that really doesn't matter. It really doesn't. For instance, I I have been saying that prayer, thinking about Egypt, thinking about uh, any time that I have seen your country for what's being shown as a place of violence. You know, I apologize for that because that's not the truth of who Egypt is. That's not the truth of your country. That's the truth of what was created. And you're creating something completely different now. And so for any time I have not seen you in your highest light, in your highest good, I am sorry. I love you. I am sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. And sometimes I get it mixed up, but it really doesn't matter. But if you can say in one voice together to an approaching army, I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. I just don't see how any army anywhere could attack a group of people chanting those words. Um, So take it or leave it. If you find it useful, I hope you do. If not, there is a movement happening right now. Uh, I know people who are gathering and they're collecting ideas and we are with you brainstorming and we'll continue just to send you um, as many tools as we can since we cannot be there with you in person. Um, This is the best that we can do. So stay strong. Stay strong and believe and see it and know that peace always wins. Mm.